Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Teen Titans episode 11 from season 6, which is titled Teen Titans Raw. And this entire episode makes fun of the original Thundercats fans. And this annoys me and I may get heated in this. But if you like this sort of content, you want to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Let's just jump into it. To kind of summarize this entire episode, we have the Titans who love the original Thundercats, bar Starfire. She has never seen Thundercats whatsoever. So they all get dressed up as their favorite characters. And you know, you see homage a little bit at the very beginning with Robin dressed as Lino doing the original kind of intro with, uh, with Beast Boy, Cyborg and Raven. And they do the original intro. And I actually kind of thought that was quite cool. The premise of this episode is that Thundercats Raw is premiering and they watch, I think, a little bit of the first episode and they absolutely hate it. They go to town and say that it's crap. You know, the second that they see it, they have to destroy the TV because it exists. And it leads into other elements, which literally mock the entire original fan base for Thundercats. It kind of goes in blocks for this one. First of all, the Titans are angry, but Starfire enjoys the show and says, you've got to watch it to see what you think. So within the first three seconds of the intro, the Titans absolutely hate it and they want to get it off the screen. They're so angry. So they decide to come up with a petition to get 500 signatures. That is the only way of actually getting it. So they decide to hit the streets. They see multiple people, like normal people, just walking every day, ignoring them. But then they decide to go to three different types of people. You have a fat guy who is surrounded by trash, who's like overweight, he's got sweat stains, and he reads the, uh, the top part, which says, stop Thundercats Roar, or something like that. So he gets angry. He has veins popping outside his head. You know, he is super angry that he just signs it. Then we switch to a guy in a dumpster called Stinky Steve. He signs it and you know he's outraged. He's on his phone. So this one feels like he is tweeting. The original guy feels like he is blogging and writing about it. Then we jump to the last guy who is basically a fat guy with a dog collar and is on a leash with a woman holding it. And he is barking. He is going rah, 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 which again feels like that they're targeting people who just are voicing their opinions. They get the 500 signatures that they need and they send it to Warner Brothers because they fire it out of cannon via Cyborg. Now, within like a second, they get a response saying, thank you for any interest in our show. Here is a picture of Bugs Bunny, which then symbolizes the fact that petitions don't always work and there is nothing no one can do about it. They're continuing with the show. The Titans still get really angry, so Raven teleports them into the Thundercats Raw universe and that is the main thing. But you see the Thundercats fighting Mumra from the first, like, so from the second episode, and all of a sudden their minds are slowly being changed. They're accepting Thundercats, they're saying, hey, I'm really enjoying this, but I think this is still garbage. And then the Titans decide to attack Bar Starfire, who is playing with Snarf, and is kind of later on jumping up and down, mimicking Snarf, and they're having fun. The Titans then get their ass handed to them by the Thundercats. They then come to the, uh, the last part uh, where Lino comes out of nowhere, you know, the original Lino and says, Thundercats Raw is the, uh, the best successor for this franchise, which is again, the writer saying like, hey, guess what? You know, we've got the original Lino, we've got Larry saying this, so fans now must accept this because their hero, their God, the person that they see in their eyes as the original Lino has come out and said, this is the best one. This is the greatest thing. The Titans then decide to go, oh yeah, we love this now. This is the best show in the world. And thus that what happens. Lino then turns around and says, if anyone disagrees that says that this show is bad, they have a poop brain and a poop opinion, which basically means anyone who criticizes the show has is basically shit and they shouldn't be criticizing the writers for it. They also attack vegans a lot in this episode by saying that it's by vegan writers and then they've also got vegan writers again like doing stuff and I don't know if half the writers on Thundercats Raw are vegans or this is just a thing saying vegans will ruin everything whatever. Lino then does this whole montage and goes like oh you know this is what people come for and he does the Thunder Thundercats Ho and literally he it moves on to different parts of his body and he starts flexing. Now, the only funny part in this 
is where it now jumps to snarf and he's like oh for everyone forget about snarf 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 and then it shows you the rebooted line now then shows the skeleton of panthera which is earl hyman i find this a huge insult to that because why have the skeleton of panthera there i don't understand it's just very very weird now a lot of people have said oh it actually is the rebooted uh, panthero it's not it's got the original harness it's the same color and it's also got his nunchucks now i don't know if the rebooted panthero it's been a long time since i've seen the show actually has nunchucks but it isn't it's the original panthero i'm really really like, angry at this entire whole situation because it feels like the writers of thundercats raw have no hard skin. They produced a project which they said that was going to be like the original. They have people who love the show and especially the main guy turns around multiple times and says this is what the Thundercats he wanted. This is the Thundercats you know, he loved as a kid, blah blah blah. And you know, that, that's the main thing. But I feel like the writers of Thundercats Raw cannot take criticism in any form. And this is a way of saying shut up don't even bother trying to criticize our show. We are better than you. Don't even do it. We can like make what we want. A lot of people have said that Thundercats Raw is for kids. And I can understand that. It is a very childlike show. But when you piss on and shit on the original fans for voicing their opinion, when you have the main person who is on board for animating, writing, and all that, the main guy, and he turns around and says, this is for like the original fan this is the the love that he's put into it it's a massive insult i can't understand why you'd use another platform to use all the tropes do not complain online do not voice your opinion hell they they turn around at the very beginning of teen titans to explain to starfire what the original show and they have the background they have like the original going and you know, they're saying it's the best style of animation. But then all of a sudden they change their minds at the very end, like, oh, well, we're very simple. It, you know, we, we'll take what we'll get. You know, we'll have what we're given. And this really irritates me on multiple levels because this whole thing is just saying, fuck you. Do not complain. You are spoon fed what we give you. Do not make petitions online because they fail. If you complain online, uh, via Twitter or uh, just voicing your opinion, you are a fat, sweaty, ugly man. You stink, hence Stinky Steve. They had to literally put that in there, didn't they? Stinky Steve. And also don't go barking because you probably have a kink where you like to be treated like a dog. And I can imagine people writing this like, yes, this will teach those pesky Thundercat fans. Also having Lino come out saying like, oh, here's this God, the original like Lino, this like amazing, like well-drawn thing. And they can really draw. Why are they going, <laughs> why are they going for the animation type of style with Thundercats Raw when they, we can see that they can draw decently. But no, it's like, you know, your God has come out and said, I say this is fine, so you must think it's fine now. Do not criticize. This is garbage. This is 100% garbage. I cannot believe that the writers greenlit this and said, yeah, yeah, just put it out, where it's just going to piss so many fans off. It has, hence why this video is being made. I am just, I, I just don't know why they decided to go down this route. Like people are always gonna kind of uh, critique stuff. So does this mean that if say, for example, the writers and the head guy for Thundercats Raw went into a restaurant and had bad food that one time that they're gonna slate it, put it on Thundercats Raw, like, oh God, look, I ate this food and it's made my tummy sick. You know, does this mean that they can't complain? Does this mean that they can't say anything at all? Because if they are gonna like dish it out, can they take it? This is a massive finger to the fans. This is saying, don't ever voice your opinions because you don't matter. Now I can understand the whole, give this a try. I really do, I do understand this. But when you literally rip into the fandom that boosted this, that loved the show, that would sit down with their families and say, look, we watched the original, this is passing on, we're gonna make sure that you enjoy this. You know, I feel like for this one, it was just like, no, don't even bother watching this. You know, we'll have Lyna run around and act like a thing. We'll have Tigra 
be a bookworm and, and boring that no one likes Tigra. I just find this a huge insult. I really, really do. Again, Cartoon Network, why would you, why would you green light this? You know, why are you ripping on generation of fans that have watched Cartoon Network for a long time and then suddenly now jumping on saying like, oh, you know, we don't give a crap about the older fans as long as we have new fans coming in. Can you imagine later on that uh, Steven Universe comes back as something brand new in like, say, 10 years time? Um, and they just completely destroyed everything. They made it exactly like Thundercats Raw, where it is goofy, where, you know, nothing made sense. You know, there was no love in it. Can you imagine the backlash? And this is one thing that in case people decide to turn around and say, well, you know, it's absolutely fine. Like, it's not for you anymore. Can you imagine the amount of flack that it would get back? Like Steven Universe is made by someone completely different or was signed off by Rebecca. And, you know, they say at the end, we will always be your family. So one thing I, can you imagine if they just destroyed that completely? You know, Steven, just kept drooling everywhere. The crystal gems weren't called crystal gems, they were called the rocks. You know, and they had no powers, they had nothing, or they were just weird. Anyway, I'm not getting into that. Can you imagine the amount of backlash? But then all of a sudden they did a crossover and the original Steven and the gems were there and they were like, yeah, this is absolutely fine. We give it 100% permission that, you know, anyone who disagrees with this it has never, ever been a fan. It has never, actually seen the true message of Steven Universe and then they just drop that and then at the very end you see something really bad you know that they decide to take the piss out of. Can you imagine the backlash? Now I don't know why Cartoon Network has greenlit all of this you know I can it just it just really gets to me the fact is that you're going to take the piss out of a lot of people just for the sake of wrapping up your feelings so you don't get hurt in the future. Oh, th there is so much. I, I just want to scream and shout because I feel like the writers and the, the art guys, the animators on Thundercats Raw don't take into consideration years and years and years worth of like past animation, past storylines, pa what the show of Thundercats is. But no, everything has to be silly and stupid from now on. Everything has to not make sense. And the, just the animation style is really bad. Go watch any of the Thundercats Raw episodes and just look how bad the animation is. Oh, dear God, dear God. Right, I am, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just so angry at this. Oh, right, so if you enjoyed this sort of video and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching uh, and I'll see you in the next video.